Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunday, a top rated plus Upwork freelancer. I'm here to teach you everything you need to know to end big on Upwork too. Today, particularly, we will be talking about how to make money on Upwork without skills. One of the barriers of entry for those who just want to start Upwork is skills. We all know that it is essential that you have a skill if you want to start making money on Upwork. That rule does not change, but in order to make money on Upwork, you have to have in demand skills that is sellable digitally but in today's video i'm going to show us alternative ways to make money without you necessarily having that digital skills so number one drop service we are all conversant with the concept of drop shipping you don't necessarily have to be the one producing the goods you don't necessarily have to be the one delivering the goods so what matters is that you are the one who win the customer you are at the procurement end of things you get a customer in the US who wants to buy a shoe, you approach Shopify, Shopify, send the goods to the client's address in US in your name, like probably with your own branding. So you're like a middleman between the seller and the buyer. That's drop shipping. So in the case of drop service, drop service means that you find your way of procuring clients who need a specific service, probably some high in demand services, probably like somebody needs a programmer. So you have presented yourself as a programmer or as an agent that has programmers on Upwork. So you get the job, then you approach a programmer who you already have an understanding with and that programmer does the job. You get the job, you deliver it to the client, the client pays you, you pay the programmer. So for example, if the client pays you say $20,000, you pay the programmer $17,000, you have $3,000 to yourself without you having to be the one to sit behind the laptop screen for weeks. Where you make more money is that you get a lot of other jobs like that so if you get five six seven eight nine job ten jobs like that that is your thirty thousand dollars times ten so you are making thirty thousand dollars off the service other people do so that is the concept of drop service i don't really outsource my upwork gigs but i am on fiverr most times the payment i get from fiverr clients is not exactly my standard so most jobs i get from fiverr i outsource it to other people they get the job done i take a token out of the money so what are the advantages of drop service number one drop service is very profitable drop service is profitable and it frees your time then number two drop service is less stressful drop service helps you to be able to procure more projects so for example if i get two writing gigs from fiverr and i have one video editing gig on upwork and then i have another gig from maybe my local client so that's about four gigs at a time on a good day i might not be able to meet up with those gig and deliver them on time maybe they all want the work delivered that same week with drop servicing so i outsource the ones that are not paying me well so most times i end up outsourcing the, my fiverr gigs so you don't want to deliver wishy-washy jobs to your client so if somebody is designing in your state you want to look at the work the person has designed for you and ensure that it matches your standards ensure that the corrections are made until the work is good enough for you to be able to tell the client that i did this work so drop service work is even best when you have the skills yourself then even if you don't have the skills of the designer so you get the job from upwork then give it to a designer you know is very good the designer does the job are you guys agree on a fixed price then you get the designer paid deliver the job on upwork upwork gets you paid you take the difference over it as your profits so what are the disadvantages of drop service number one it requires that you have knowledge of the niche so you can go on google and research about whatever niche you want to operate drop service in so you have the basic knowledge of that niche you understand the basic terminologies so that you would be able to negotiate well with the client and get crystal clear instructions that the expert can work with then number two it requires tested and trusted experts finding tested and trusted experts can be challenging sometimes so you can go on sites like online.ph you can go on sites like freelancer.com you can also use fiverr freelancer if you are following me type following in the comment section so now the next disadvantage is that there is a risk of you losing your money remember you are paid 70 percent to the expert part what happens if the client cancels the work on upwork 
you lose your money. Although that seldom happens if you nurture the whole relationship well. Now you see the number one way you can freelance without necessarily having a specific skills. So one other thing that doesn't require you to have any skill before you can do it is hitting the like button on this video and subscribing if you have not subscribed to this channel so you can get more helpful videos like this. So let's continue. The second way you can freelance without having a skill is for you to leverage AIs and tools that are available online. Some of these tools, you may need to pay for them so you can have more premium features that you can sell to clients. And some of these tools have their free versions. For example, Jasper.ai, ChatGPT. So with the advent of AI, so like you see people who are just learning video editing will come out with outputs that some of us that have been editing for years will struggle to achieve in our standard tool like Premiere Pro. So you can use tools like CapCut instead of using the more sophisticated Premiere Pro and After Effects. You can use tools like Descript to edit videos. If you can use Microsoft Word with just their five minutes tutorial, you can use Descript. You can edit YouTube videos and do other things. Then you don't necessarily have to edit video. You might also present yourself as a content writer. Yes, you might not have this expert skills of a content writer or a copywriter, but don't forget you can leverage powerful AIs like ChatGPT. So you get the job, you use ChatGPT, then you spin it using Qbot.com. So because if you use ChatGPT direct, it can be detected by the client that you use ChatGPT. So after generating the content, the most important thing is that you go over the content because sometimes AIs can be so dumb, like it gives you rubbish answer. So you want to check through what AI has produced for you in terms of the content, those adjustments you are making is your own human input that makes that content way more original. You might even need to Google one or two things. You might disagree with some of the outlines that ChatGPT may have given you. Some parts will be on point, some parts won't be. So you make those adjustments yourself. So you have augmented an AI to deliver a content writing job that will take a content expert one week. You will get it done in three days. So that's another way you can make money freelancing without skills. What are the advantages? What are the pros? of this particular method. Number one, it is free. Most of this software, even Jasper.ai has a free version. This script has their free version. They give you like 5,000 words before you have to do the paid version. Then there are multiple alternatives to each of those tools. You can always Google that out. Then secondly, leveraging AI and powerful tools makes you more efficient and faster. And then the last advantage of leveraging AIs and powerful tools is that it makes the work way more easier. Then disadvantages of using AIs and other tools is that one, AIs can be very dumb. Then number two, it can be detected. So it's personally, I prefer to write my content myself. I believe so much in my originality. If you can do it yourself, don't depend too heavily on AIs and other tools. But those tools are there to argument what you do. Then another disadvantage is that some of these tools are paid. The free version is limited. So if you are using it to make money, you would probably want to go for the premium versions. So now bonus tip, I'll talk about a way you can make passive income, not substantial amount. You know, like making a little bit of income here and a little bit of income there. Little drops make an ocean. This way you can make money by using Brave Browser. Using Brave Browser, you get less advertisement and for the advertisements that you get, you get paid for it. It's nothing substantial, but then it's a way to make peanut money. Focus on Upwork where you can make substantial amount of money and I say this because I have made thousands of dollars on Upwork. So the third way to freelance without skills is to focus on jobs that requires no skills. Are there jobs that requires no skills? Not exactly but what I mean by requiring no skill is that you don't have to go and learn the skills. Maybe spend another three months. You can start right now. If you can understand what I am saying in this video, you can start right now. For example, virtual assistants. So yes, there are expert levels of these jobs I'll be mentioning. But then the basic level does not require you taking any training. You can just start. You can just watch one or two videos about how to be a virtual assistant and then you should be fine. They are just the basic things you do every day. Then video spoke person. Video spoke person is a well-demanded service that a lot of people 
are not doing. If you have the poise to stand in front of a camera and present a script, then video spokesperson is for you. It's something you do naturally, like you don't have to go to a broadcast school. Yes, you might want to improve yourself by going to a broadcast school later on, but for you to get started and start making money as a video spokesperson, you don't need to learn any new skills. I would not want to say you can do this without skill, but the truth is you can. If you can handle your own social media or yourself, you can open a Facebook page. There are brands there. It's not because these people cannot do it themselves. They are just too busy. They need somebody to get that off their desk. So you can be that person. So you can offer social media services. So you make their post for them. They already have a designer that does the designs or a writer that write the content. So yours is to post and check the analytics. Then you would improve over time when you start doing this. Another service you can offer on Upwork that requires no skills is data entry. This data has been written. It's in existence. So maybe it's it, it handwritten. Let's say, for example, the hospital records of patients that has been handwritten. So now what you will be doing for them is that they send you this, this scanned copy. So you are typing it out. You are typing it out in digital form. Then you submit it. Isn't that easy? Then web testing, app and web testing, these apps or webs have been created. So all you have to do is to download it or they send you a link to it that you have exclusive access to that app or website. You test the application. So you give a feedback on your experience with the app. Transcription is another thing you can do without necessarily learning a skill. You can use this script. So if somebody sends you an audio to transcribe, just take that audio or video to this script, upload it to this script. This script will transcribe it. The transcription of this script is fairly more accurate than other auto transcriptions I have used. So you can try out this script. It will help you make money. So you present yourself on Upwork as a transcription expert. You understand? <laughs> So if you're liking this video so far, don't do without hitting the like button. That is the way you can support me with what I do here and taking the pain to teach you things I know. So what are the advantages of getting started with skills that are easy to learn or require no skills? The major advantage is that one, you can start today. Number two is what is already obvious. You don't need any skills to get started. To be honest with you, the disadvantage of these types of services is that one, the competition is always higher since the barrier of entry is low. So every Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. So if you want to do this, be ready to learn how to navigate Upwork better. Don't worry, with some of the videos I share here, you should be able to beat the competitions on the platform. The easier it is to acquire the skills or to start a service on Upwork, the higher the competition for that particular skills or service. So another way you can freelance without necessarily having skills on Upwork work or other freelance platforms is to digitalize your present 9 to 5 job. What do I mean by this? If you have a 9 to 5 job, for example, if you are an engineer, I agree with you that engineering in itself is not exactly a profession that you can offer remotely, but some aspects of engineering, probably use of a particular software to analyze a particular drawing or to get a particular result. So something that you know, a part of that engineering that can be done remotely. For example, drawing the plan, drawing the layout plan can be done remotely, but then I think the person still have to have an idea of how it looks locally. So it, just look at your profession. What aspect of your profession can be done remotely? Also, some professions like accounting can be done remotely. So if you are an accountant, you can just start an Upwork profile as an accountant. You can transition the service you offer them in your 9 to 5 job to freelancing on Upwork. Then if you currently have a business, probably you offer consultancy services to businesses around the world. Yes, you can just set up your business on Upwork and continue offering that same service and you start making money on Upwork. So the advantage of this method is that you don't have to learn a new skill. It is a skill that you've already learned and you have experience in. This is more advisable. This will give you an upper hand and you can use your experience, your works, your portfolio as an evidence to prospective clients on Upwork to bid for jobs and then you get the jobs. So not all jobs are digitalizable. That's number one disadvantage. Then number two is that some services like the service, if you are a lawyer in Nigeria, you, you cannot offer legal service in UK. I think you might need to write some exams or study their own law there. So some professions are actually local, are actually local to a specific country or environment. 
So you can't offer such services on Upwork. Then you can also offer your legal service even as a Nigerian, but you will be limited to just Nigerian clients. But if you have alternatives, I then I would prefer that you offer a service that you can offer to people across the globe. Before we move on to the next one, let me know in the comment section what service you are presently offering on Upwork. Someone might be interested in your service. If in the course of this video, you have just determined the service you are going to offer or you have a service in mind now that you are considering. So you can put that in the comment section and let us know that you are considering that service so we can guide you and advise you about that. There is no way to make money freelancing without skills. Skills has to come to fore. Whether you exhibiting the skills yourself or the skills of another person, but you must find a way to bring skills to the table for you to get money out of the freelance table. Thanks for watching this video. I would see you in the next one.